Okay, I'm Richard. I have a Tissot Touch 2 uh, watch, and most of the instructional videos on here are pure crap. They're all filled with porno style disco music and just ramblings of crap that doesn't help you. One of the problems I've been trying to resolve is how to change the date because it says 2010 uh, October. I can change the day, which is like the ninth day of currently the ninth day of October in 2017, but I couldn't figure out, it'd say push this button and then hit the center button and set it. Well, none of that crap worked. So what I found out, if I can move this back to, uh, hang on. Okay, what I found out, I'm gonna try to turn my camera around here, so. All right, when it tells you, <clears throat> Let's see if you can see this here. All right, essentially it tells you, if you can't see this, it tells you to uh, get to the uh, the date mode and then hold that in until it starts flashing. Or I'm sorry, hold this plus button until it starts flashing. So then you see, well, all it changes is the date. So I can change that until it gets 31st, then it wraps back around and starts over again. And then nothing changes. But what I found out is if you just hold this button down, that it starts speeding up, and then suddenly the month will start changing. And then eventually, hold it. Hopefully you can see the month is going. Now it's now the year is changing after a minute. Now it's 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. And stop there. And crap, it went too far, so I pushed the negative button. Give it a second. Let it get back to where it was. Because if I hit it now, it's going to change the year again. All right, now I'm going to start it again. God dang it, it's in back to 2011. All right, let me try this again. I thought I had this nailed for you guys, but let's see what happens. All right, now the month is changing. 12, now the years are... There it goes, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. All right, now I'm going to push the center. All right, maybe that locked it in. Now I'm going to start it over again. All right, it's changing 9th, 10th, 11th, 12th, 13th, going on the 31st, going now the months are changing, and I'm going to keep going until it, it's a 10th. Okay, now I've got 9, 10, 17. Now I'm going to hit the set button, and hope to God this son of a bitch stays here. All right, I think I did it. So in review, let me turn this back around. Hopefully I didn't screw this up. All right, sorry, I'm not a damn professional. I'm a Marine, a US Marine and a Texan, so bear with me. All right, this watch is cool, but it is way too freaking complicated for, <laughs> for normal use if you don't play with it all the time. All right, so the review, if you want to change the, the date, the month, day, and year, you start off in this mode, you hold down the plus, and then the day will start turning. If your year is messed up, just hold it, keep holding it, and it'll start speeding up on the day, and then, then the month will start clicking through, then that'll speed up, and then your year will start. As soon as your year gets to where you need to be, in my case, 17, from 10, it started off at 10, uh, when you get to 17, stop it, then hit the center button to lock that in. Then let it reset and start it over again, like you're going to change the date all over again, and start working with the uh, date, let that cycle through, and then let it catch up to the uh, month, correct month, and stop. Let it off, so it'll stop, then lock it again. And then you'll have your month and year, and then if your date is not right, Start it again until that day gets right. That'll be the easiest thing to do. And then when you finish, don't forget to push the center button to lock it in. I think this is what does it. Uh, on behalf of the uh, people who are obviously no help whatsoever from Tissot, Major Richard Harden with the left-handed salute from Tyler, Texas, at your service. Bye.